Hello everyone, this is Michelle. Um, as promised, this is a video of your uh, customizing your blog header using Adobe Illustrator. First of all, I want to show you that when you download uh, scrapbook, digital scrapbook kits, it will all come like this once you extracted them from a zip file. So they all come individually. So like this is a, an image and this is a paper and another image and things like that. So. Anyways, going back here, I just want to show you how easy it is. First off, you click on File. I don't know if you could see my finger in there. Click File and then New. I always like to work on uh, the width as 12.5 inches and height as 5.2 inches. So just click OK, but what will happen is you will have this rectangular box right here. And what I want to do the next is I always put the paper first. So, for example, this is the paper. Click on Control C or Edit Copy. I always like to use my shortcuts. And then Control, go back to this rectangular box, Control V, and it will show you that it's too big for the box. So, what you do is you see a bunch of like this arrows, like that. Um, what you do is you just drag them down according to the size of the box. And just to remind you that if you use a pattern paper, the image or the pattern from the paper will either stretch or too narrow or too wide. So I always like to use a paper like this. It's almost like a cardstock. So the next thing I want to do is I click on the first image that I want to use. So I click on that image, Control C, and then I go back to my box, Control V. Again, it's too big. So what you do uh, is Control uh, press your Shift key, and then go to the arrow here at the bottom. This is how this how I work, and then just drag them inwards to make it smaller. And then there you go. There's the image there. So sometimes what I do is I close it up so I can see it really close. Um, you press Control plus plus until like it's that close up. Now the next thing I want to do is get this circle image right here. Press highlight it or just click on the image and Control C, and then you go back to your box and Control V. So now you can't see the bottom corner so sometimes what I do is I go back again and for you to um, do that view you press control minus minus so bigger is plus plus smaller is minus minus um, so what I do control press your shift key and then go to the bottom arrow and just drag it down there for example I want half of the circle appearing in there as a style, let's say. Now my second image would be this pink circle here. Contr click on the image, Control C, and then Control V. Again, it's too big, so I just press my Shift key and then make it smaller. You can use your arrow buttons to move the image around if you want it kind of like a bit perfect but you can also just drag it anywhere you want so sometimes when it's too far dragging is good but when you just want it to kind of like be in the center there then use the arrow keys anyways my next image would be this pink rope so I click on the image control C and then go back to the box control V now if you notice the rope is on top of the tree. Now I want the tree on top and the rope behind. So what I do is I click on the tree, right click, arrange, bring to front, front, sorry, bring to front. <laughs> and so there you go. Um, don't worry about the side first, okay? Now what else you can do is if you want to type your blog title, click on the letter T here on your tool window and click for example I want to put Jerkin but this font kind of like doesn't match the 
the style of my blog. So what I do is I click on type over here and then click on font and you will see all the fonts that I have here. So for example, um, I want to use this handwriting font that I downloaded. So it's too small, you want it a bit bigger. There are three ways that you can edit this font. First is click on this arrow here and then it will highlight the text press your shift key and drag it down or what you can do is go on this box here and then it will show you the sizes and for example I want it 72 size apparently it's not working for me see it made it smaller so I could for example, I want 150. Just give me a second here. Anyways, or you can go to type, size, and then you just go over there. Go back to 72. But I want it a bit bigger. So don't forget, always hold your shift key. Now, I want a different color, so what you can do is go he over here and then just click on the colors that you want. So, for example, I want a teal color. Now, how can you make sure that the half of the circle won't appear? So, this crossroad icon right here, I'm not sure if you could see it. I'm sorry, I'm using a white screen, so my fonts are pretty tiny. I already adjusted it, but. Um, it's called the crop area tool or you can just press shift O and it will all highlight your box I don't know if you can see that closely so you can either include that whole circle by dragging this tiny box outwards or just go back and then just put it on half of the circle and then click this first arrow key here, the selection tool and then to prove that that it won't show now you're almost done, you're, you're done with your header so it depends on what images you want and what kind of paper do you use so there's a lot of like free digital scrapbooking kit that you could download online now what you can do is go from file and then export all those pictures. Now, it's already on JPEG but sometimes it appears on Photoshop or whatever, but always click on JPEG for example, and then type in your file name, for example, that's sample. And then always make sure that the color model would be RGB so that all the colors will appear, like the, the correct colors. And then click on OK. Now if I go back to my desktop um, I click on the file that I just saved you would see that it's only half of the circle that appeared so there you go you already have a JPEG blog header what you can also do is um, for uploading it on your blog header you go to your dashboard and then you go to layout so over here I have my header and then over on this corner is I can click on edit now what you can do is you type in your blog title whatever or but actually it won't show so because you would put instead of title and description just choose that option and then you can remove this image and change it so I could always change it to the newer one that I made and and then just click on save once you're done with it and there you go you already have a new blog header pretty simple eh? any questions just send me an email thanks a lot bye